My name is Elizabeth Grodini. I'm the Andrew High School Arts Director at the American Academy in Rome. And I think my first visit to the Galleria Borghese was as a child. I certainly came when I was 18 years old. And I remember being awestruck by the works of art that I knew and also being intimidated by how much I didn't know. And so I hope through this series of talks on artworks in the gallery, the public will get a sense that this art is for everyone. And it starts with looking and the understanding comes later based on what you see. So I was asked to pick one work that particularly interests me or attracted me. And I chose this wonderful picture of a sorceress by Dosso Dossi. And I want to tell you a bit about why it interested me and what I learned about it. It really jumped out at me because of this powerful picture of a woman. There are many women in the Galleria Borghese. Um, there are virgins and there are saints and there are women seated for portraits and of course there are many goddesses and nymphs. But often these are women who look passive or um, in danger in some way. They're hiding, they're running, they're fleeing. And I liked this woman because she was seated strong and she was clearly about to do something. So her pose and also her dress really attracted me. She's dressed in a way you won't find anyone else in the gallery dressed in this sort of layering of silks and what looks almost like carpets and this interesting hair style that she has and headgear. So she really attracted me as someone different from the other women in the gallery and I wanted to learn more about her. The other thing that interested me about the picture were all of these objects that you see on the left-hand side of the painting. So you've got this figure study, and then you've got what are almost like still lives. And what, what, what do we see there? We see a, a suit of armor, we see a dog, a very sort of wise-looking dog, and, a, and also a very kind of solemn and important-looking bird. And then on the upper left, you see these very strange figures, sort of effigies that are tied to a tree. The sorceress herself sits inside a circle that's inscribed with words that we can't read in a language we can't understand. And she holds diagrams under her arm and a torch in her hand. So she's clearly ready to do something. She's going to act, and we can tell she's going to do something powerful. Um, scholars have argued that this is a sorceress, and she may be Circe from the Odyssey, but more likely it seems she's Melissa, from the epic poem, the Orlando Furioso by Ariosto. And this is a poem that was written at the court of the Este family in the early part of the 16th century, which is exactly where and when Dosso Dossi was painting as well. So there's a connection between this poem and Dosso Dossi's work. What's interesting about Melissa in this story is that she is the protectoress of uh, a couple that's in love, Bradamante, who's a female warrior, and Ruggiero, who's a Saracen soldier. And she works through the poem to bring them together in their love. Well, the Este family claimed descent from this couple. So in the way, Melissa, by supporting their love, is a sort of protectress of this family. The last thing I, I, I want to point out to you is the landscape in this picture. It's a very typical landscape of northern Italian painting of the period. And I like to think of these sort of landscapes, you see them in paintings by Giorgione, for example, as what you might call speaking landscapes. So they, they're not just backgrounds, but they really help um, tell the story, they help give a psychological uh, sort of feeling to the story. And so you see the sort of Mm, you know, in, in unpredictable light and a thick atmosphere, you feel like something's going to happen in the landscape. And I think that absolutely complements the feeling of this woman who's about to do something powerful. We don't know exactly what. So for me, this combination of figure and objects and landscape and a story of a woman who's about to act felt really timely and really of the moment. And it's one of my favorite works at the Borghese Gallery.